Hi, I'm going to do a comparison today between the Flight Centurion and the Reza LP electric ukuleles. So it's been a little while since I've done a comparison between electric ukes, but with Flight so kindly lending me some instruments recently, including this gorgeous so I'm just looking at the light catching it. This gorgeous Flight Centurion. I thought I really needed to do a comparison with the Reza because look how similar they are. So the Reza was actually my first solid body electric ukulele steel string one. Okay. Um, and I've had it a few years now. This one, the flight came out after the Reza. So I never really looked to get this because as you can see, they're quite similar. So today I'm going to see exactly how similar they are, not just in look, specs and features, but also what they sound like. So the first thing I want to talk about is price because there really is a bit of a difference. The Reza being more expensive, about £639 from Southern Ukulele Store, um, £599 from World of Ukes, they're both in the UK, and £565 from Toman in Europe. Whereas the flight is a lot cheaper, €315 Euro from flight itself, £249 from both Southern Ukulele Store and World of Ukes, £269 from Gear for Music, which is also in the UK, and a little bit cheaper, £243 from Bax, which again is over in Europe. Okay, so realistically, the Reza is double the price of the Flight Centurion. I really would though recommend buying an instrument like this, an electric solid body ukulele from a specialist because you know they're going to be set up properly. So the specs and features, I'm just going to go through what's the same to start with, right? Because there's an awful lot of them. Most obvious being the shape. They're both based on a, you know, a Les Paul from Gibson. They're both tenor size. They've both got arched tops, which really are gorgeous to look at and they've both got a gloss finish. The bodies, they both have a really nice binding going around the edge. They're both solid mahogany, if I just go like that for a minute, okay. They've both got mahogany necks as well and of course the headstocks. And if I flip the headstocks around, you can see they're both black. They've both got the same pickup configuration. They've both got two tone and two volume controls, and they have both got a three-way toggle switch, so you can swap between bridge pickup, neck pickup, or have both playing. And you can see they've both got compartments to get to the various electronic bits, okay? And whilst we're there, they've both got two strap buttons. So looking again at the fronts, I gotta say, I do love the fingerboards on both of these. They have both got block inlay fingerboards. Um, this one, the flight is a mixed ebony material, whereas it's a rosewood fingerboard on the Reza. They've both got bindings going down the sides and they've both got side markers as well on the necks. They both have 19 frets, 14 frets of the body and they both have a zero fret which helps with intonation especially of instruments this size. Onto the hardware they've both got hard tail fixed bridges which means that you can adjust both intonation uh, and action. They both have uh, enclosed tuners however uh, the Reza has got Grover tuners and the Flight has got unbranded tuners but they're both closed gear. They both have set necks, okay, neither of them are bolt on um, and as you can see with the design as well, it is a string through design and they're both strung with low G's and when you've got to replace strings, you can just use the top four of a regular guitar set. Wow, that was a fair list um, of all the things that are the same. There are a few things that are different. The most obvious one being the colour. This one is described as a vintage gold um, and it's sort of got this gorgeous metallic-y 
uh, glint to it. It really is stunning to look at. Whereas there's a gorgeous sunburst, uh, cherry sunburst on the Risa. Another design difference, white pickups, black on the outside for the uh, Risa and black pickups, white on the outside for the flight. Another little difference are the fingerboards. It's a rosewood fingerboard on the Risa and a mixed ebony fingerboard on the flight. The general electronic components or the electric bits, they are much better quality um, on the Risa and there you can start to see the difference in the price. Whether or not you can hear the difference, that's going to be up to you guys, okay? But when you take a sort of really close inspection, for example, the pickups are Risa handmade pickups. And the Risa has got Grover tuners unbranded on the flight, but they both work perfectly well. One other thing to mention, the flight does come with a 15mm padded gig bag. All right, it doesn't have shoulder straps on it, but it is padded. The uh, Risa comes with a much flimsier, cheaper case. Right, so they look very similar, but how do they sound? Same or different? Um, I'm going through my Hughes and Kettner Spirit of Vintage head amp into my bare-faced 112 reality cab. There is a bit of a hiss off the amp. It's not the instrument, so it's the amp. Any effects I use, I'll pop them up on the screen and I really would recommend wearing headphones to listen or at least have decent speakers. <laughs> Did you think I haven't actually heard the recordings yet? So I'm really interested as well. Okay, so what we've got to consider really is, is the price difference worth it? Um, I suppose it is entirely up to each individual. All right, the Risa has been around for a long, long time. It was considered the sort of professional use solid body electric ukulele for many years and then flight came along with their rock series and sort of blew us all away this one is half the price of the Risa, 
But that's up to you whether or not you want this one, that one or both. Which sort of leads me on to, well, why aren't I keeping it? This was sent to me as a loan instrument. Some of you may know I've decided to keep the uh, Flight Mini JB bass. Um, why aren't I keeping this one? I can't justify it. There is nothing wrong with this instrument at all. It's just, I think I've already got about four or five solid body electric ukuleles. I am a bass player. I like playing the electric ukuleles, don't get me wrong. I'm not very good at it, um, but I just don't spend the time playing these as I play the basses. I, I'm guessing if this one had come out before the Reza, and this has been out years, I probably would have ended up buying this one, okay? Again, whether I'd have ended up with two, I don't know, but that's the only reason I'm not keeping this. I just can't justify it. It is gorgeous, so, and I've had brilliant fun playing it. Sorry, I was just enjoying the gold glint of this one final time because it really has been great fun. Thank you, Flight, for loaning me this and allowing me to do a review of it and a comparison. I am going to be comparing it or at least looking at it compared to my other Flight uh, electric ukuleles as well. But yeah, what a gorgeous looking instrument. I have got a Patreon page, so if you'd like to support me here on Ukulele Wales, uh, I'll pop a link in the description below for that. As always, though, I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any comments or questions, please feel free, leave them below. Give us a like if you've enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. Thank you for watching.